this year 2021 we will see the release of ios 15 so i want to put together a little wish list things i want to see feature number one i want to see split screen multitasking um, iPhones are just getting larger in screen size, especially the 12 Pro Max being its 6.8 inch display. Um, it just makes sense to have split screen multitasking. To be able to open up YouTube and surf the web at the same time will be very beneficial, especially if you're watching those top 10 videos. So you can be able to see the price as you're watching the video. And I feel like Apple could make it happen, even if it's a limitation. Maybe just have it strictly with Safari. To be able to have two Safari windows, maybe on the top and on the bottom, will be very, very beneficial. There's always that one moment where you need to have two apps or two websites open at the same time. And to go alongside with that, you guys notice I have an all black wallpaper. That's to appreciate the OLED display. It's battery efficiency too as well. And one thing I would appreciate isn't always on display. And I feel like this is just a wasted opportunity. You have an OLED display, OLED panel, so why not just have an always on display? So be able to showcase the time, the weather, maybe a little icons of your um, notifications. And yeah, you're gonna find this on most Android devices. So yeah, I feel like that could be done via software update or even the next iPhone, the iPhone 13. Incorporate the same tech that's found on the Apple Watch where that has an always on display Maybe put that on the iPhone 13. Now, iOS 14 really popularized customization to the icons. It was always a thing using Siri shortcuts. So yeah, it utilized the Siri shortcuts and you could be able to have your shortcut icons to launch up the applications. Now, yeah, when you do that, the only bottleneck is it has to open up an animation in order for the app to run. And I feel like Apple could really just embrace this, have some kind of icon store incorporated into the app store. So be able to allow the user to purchase icon packs to change their icons. That would be really nice. And I feel like that's gonna be game changer for a lot of uh, people's business. One time, I believe there was a story where somebody made a, over $100,000 off of these icon packs for iOS 14. So iOS 14 really did change people's lives and it changed the strategy of, um, of certain business models. And I feel like Apple could take it a step further if they really embrace it. And okay, maybe you don't wanna embrace the icon packs into the app store at least redesign the icons. We've been seeing the same old icons since iOS 7, the same old flat design for the last eight years. It is time for change. And to put the cherry on top with the icon redesign, maybe incorporate a dark mode. So when you activate dark mode, you'll be able to have the icons dark as well. So right now I have dark mode enabled. So you guys can see as an example, I have all these wallpapers here, so they, they dynamic. But when we activate light mode, it'll be in a bright, you know, bright environment here. Yeah, do the same thing with the icons. All right, I'm going back to my all black wallpaper. And I feel like at night, you just feel like you're holding all screen. iOS 14 introduced widgets on the home screen and it was a major success. I have a little simple widgets every now and then. I really do need to redesign my home screen, kind of give it a fresh new look. So why not add in the control center toggles with the widgets? So you guys could see the same control center that we can access here why not add some of these platters onto the home screen? So the Wi-Fi could be right here on the home screen or the brightness, whatever the case may be, be able to incorporate the control center as a widget on the home screen. And to go alongside with that, why not have a now playing widget? So have the, the slider on the home screen. So instead of you going to the dedicated app like YouTube Music, Spotify, or Apple Music, have the now playing slider a part of the home screen. So be able to interact with the widget. Now this could be a small nitpick, but taking a look at the settings app, <laughs> you guys kill me for saying settings. Uh, why not have more options, more information onto the settings without digging into the preferences here? Give us the storage and give us the battery health. Those are the two most things that people go into their settings for, for the most part, is the battery and the storage. So to see the battery wear and tear, you have to go into the battery. You got to look for that and you got to go into battery health. I'm at hundred percent, but why do all of that when you can have it right here on the top and as well as the storage show the bar. So basically, as I'm saying, just give us widgets in the settings application. Yeah. So you could quickly turn on and off things or just redesign this entire screen in general. It's just time for a fresh new look. Don't you guys find it annoying how we still have this pop-up 
indicating that we have a low battery like that is just so annoying why not have that as a banner so all in all what i'm trying to say is you guys remember how the core ui was so annoying on ios 13 ios 14 fixed it with a banner so you could continue what you're doing you're not just interrupted with a phone call that's the same way how i feel about the low power have that as a banner instead of it being hostile in front of the, the, the screen and you have to press something it's just not going to go away all right, I want to talk about the lock screen. The lock screen needs a redesign desperately. We've been seeing the same lock screen like layout for years. You can access the camera by swiping like so, and you can activate the camera, or you can press the camera toggle on the bottom right, but I feel like that's just unnecessary. The first thing I want Apple to do, have us change the toggles on the lock screen. Maybe you don't want a flashlight, maybe you want a calendar or the weather, or music. Allowing the user to customize the toggles on your lock screen is definitely beneficial. I appreciate having the flashlight in the camera, but maybe not everybody would find that beneficial. And overall, give us the same home screen treatment. So to be able to add widgets onto the lock screen would be very nice. Now this is another feature I've been asking for years, to be able to lock certain apps. So if you want to lock for example, your photos app, your calendars app, or even your text messages, you should be able to lock those applications using your biometrics, such as Touch ID or Face ID. Hopefully the iPhone 13 will have both Touch ID and Face ID, so we can end that Touch ID versus Face ID war. But nonetheless, have the ability to lock your applications is a fundamental feature in my opinion. I feel like Apple could make it happen, but I just feel like they just don't want to. Now, taking it back to the settings application, <laughs> I want to be able to have EQ sliders for Apple Music. So if you go into the settings, then music, and then EQ, you have these presets here. And these presets are pretty cool, but nothing would ever beat having those sliders. You need to have those slider EQs because having this preset is just not ideal. And maybe there's a reason behind having these presets to avoid any of the um, distortion on the AirPods. But yet again, they have the slidable EQs on the MacBooks, on the Macs. So why not have it on the iPhones? Give us better app optimization. Because look, Instagram is taking up 535 megabytes. That is insane. And that's just due to the fact how it downloads the pictures, it's saved onto the cache have an option to clear caches for each application especially if you have 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes of storage you will definitely need this and um, even if you have 128 gigabytes like me here you're definitely going to probably appreciate having some kind of uh, better storage management and the last thing i want to see on ios 15 for the iphone i'm going to talk about the ipad next I want to see home screen landscape support. Now this one here is a disappointing one because we had this feature on the plus model iPhones, such as the 7 plus 8 plus but on the 10 series you didn't have that and then when the 10s max released we still didn't have that and to this day we just been missing this landscape home screen. If you mount your phone up using the car mount now you have to you're forced to have your phone like this in portrait but having it landscape would be very nice and it would look a little bit more cleaner in my opinion. All right, so enough of iOS 15, let's shift focus to the iPad OS 15. Basically the same thing, but more optimized for the iPad. First thing I really wanna see, and this one here was a huge letdown, I wanna be able to have widgets on the home screen, for real this time. To be able to add in the widgets alongside with your icons, Come on. I mean, I was expecting to see that on the iPad, but we did not get that last year. So hopefully iOS 15 could make that happen. Another thing too, I want to see second monitor support. When you connect into a monitor, to be able to add in more monitors, have dual screen monitors for your iPad, that would be really beneficial. You could run two apps at once on the iPad. So why not have it on two different monitors? That would be pretty cool. And to go alongside with that, full screen support connected to a display. So when you connect this to a monitor right now, you're gonna get black bars on the side, which is very annoying. I feel like Apple could really optimize the iPad um, to fit within those displays. They could do that on the MacBook. The MacBook doesn't have a problem. You're not gonna get those black bars whatsoever. And I feel like they could do the same thing right here on the iPad. Now I feel like this is the most requested feature on the iPad, Final Cut Pro and Xcode. Make that happen, Apple. It's available on the M1 chips. It's optimized. And 
I feel like it could happen on the iPad. Basically, it's, it's on Apple Silicon, and this is Apple Silicon chip. They could just put it over to the iPad with no problem. And same thing with Xcode. Creators would appreciate having these pro applications ported over to the iPad. Now, this was totally missing on the iPad. We have the app library. That is just not present here on the iPad. And it just gives you like, it organized all your applications. So you have your recently added, your entertainment, your social, well, not your social security, but your social media applications. And I love how everything is just broken down and everything is just organized. It comes to the point where you don't even need to have your applications laid out here anymore because the app library, it just organized everything for you. That is just totally absent on iPad OS, which is kind of disappointing to say the least. Now, Apple is advertising the iPad as a laptop replacement, or they say, you know, this is a computer like no other computer, but I feel like it's kind of weird how we don't have any kind of multi-user support. We had it on computers for years, and not having it on the iPad is kind of a bummer, to say the least. You know, a lot of people are at home now, and they only have one iPad for their kid and for whoever the case may be, so having multi-user support right here on the lock screen to be able to log into certain accounts would be very beneficial to a lot of people. Having a multi-user on the iPad would be very beneficial for your kid and maybe for yourself or someone else. You have different applications for different uh, users. But anyway, last feature that I wanna see on the iPad and I feel like this is so sad and I've been requesting this feature every single year. We need a calculator and a weather application on the iPad. And I, I don't know what's the deal with that, why we don't have any kind of weather or calculator app. I feel like at least have some kind of calculator application on the iPad. There has to be a reason, there has to be a logic behind it. And I understand for the first iPad, they couldn't, they didn't have enough time to develop the schemorphism of the calculator. But now in 2021 of still not having a calculator app or even a weather application on the iPad is kind of a disappointment. It's not even a disappointment, it's a disgrace in my opinion. But um, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. But hey, they brought the stock and they brought the voice memo app on the iPad, but not the weather or calculator. And yeah, that is basically it in terms of watchOS and macOS, especially macOS, we saw that big overhaul with Big Sur, so it's really not that much features I wanna see. And in terms of the watch, the Apple Watch, the only thing I could think of is just third-party watch faces. You know, we've been saying this for years, Apple make it happen, but for the most part, the watch is just fine. Comment down below what you guys think and some of the features that you wanna see on iOS 15.